Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to new standards of excellence. Yes. Say yes to engage in reportage with a difference. Yes. Introducing Yes International Magazine. got you interested in Rotary? The very first person that um, I had in contact with uh, Rotary was, I think uh, he made a lot of uh, impression on me. And that is the doyen of uh, PDGs in uh, this street and uh, you know him. Uh, I do. PDG, PDG I think. Julius Adelis, I think. Yes, there was this interview uh, he granted, I think that was the NTA then. I think I watched it on the uh, nine o'clock uh, news program then. I think there was a visiting uh, RI president then, and they granted this interview in the course of uh, his visit. And uh, lo and behold, uh, his interview was, was so striking to me. And, uh, you know, he was a young man then, very vibrant, very active, and uh, it was uh, an interviewer's uh, delight. So uh, that was my first contact with Rotary, and I uh, made up my mind that, uh, yes, this organization that this man belongs to, I also want to be there. It was after that that uh, I now uh, had the cause to work with some friends. Uh, a past uh, assistant governor in my club now, Dr. Leke Ibrahim, was one of them, and another friend who uh, now brought me physically in contact with the Rotary at the Rotary Club of Ota and uh, became okay. a member in 1984. Wow. And I'm wow. a member of that club till now. Wow. Okay, I, that, 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 that's no debate about this. Some other people must have come into Rotary the year you came in. When they came, they, they, they didn't stay. We may not have the statistics. You know, but you have continued to remain a Rotarian. What would you say has kept you going as a Rotarian? Why are you still in Rotary? Yes, yes uh, that's another uh, interesting and beautiful uh, question. Uh, Rotary, um, you well know the four witness. It has been uh, uh, the... <laughs> The, the lesson of uh, Rotary, of Rotary, the four witches of the things we think and all that, and also the object of Rotary, but particularly the four witches. I see it as a, a clarion call uh, um, by anybody, whether you are a Rotarian or you are not a Rotarian. Uh, it's a clarion call if that if you follow all these things that uh, are contained in that, then you will live uh, a very peaceful and uh, profitable uh, life. It's like uh, what you have in the Ten Commandments uh, of the Bible for Christian uh, uh, worshippers. So I see the four witnesses of Rotary as uh, a way of guiding you, of giving you the guiding principles of life and of living. And uh, I must say that uh, since then, my life has uh, Rotary has been my life and I've tried to reflect it in the way my organization is run, the way uh, uh, by I conduct my businesses at home and uh, with friends and uh, I think uh, it has had a very positive impact in my life, uh, wherever, whatever, whatever aspect of life you think about, yes, I think uh, I consider Rotary as uh, life, you know. Okay. Now, from the little that I know about our DGN, you are one Rotarian who has continued to enjoy the support of his wife. And now about some Rotarians whose wives are complaining that they are devoting more attention or too much attention to Rotary and stuff. How were you able to get your wife to key into the gospel or the message of Rotary? How did you do that, sir? Well, that was um, that was easy. Uh, you know, I've said that uh, the four witnesses is like uh, the Ten Commandments, and uh, I practice it at home, at work, and uh, in no time she recognized that um, I had this passion for Rotary right from uh, the beginning. Uh, may I also remind you that um, 
I became a Polaris Fellow, uh, I think that, that was in 1985, and uh, this was to celebrate our wedding uh, in that year. We got married in 1985, December, and uh, that very day I became a Polaris Fellow. And uh, I think she's observed me over the years, and there's no doubt that uh, she has noticed that I have passion for Rotary, and uh, she also uh, had to develop such passion. We've traveled together so many occasions on the platform of Rotary to other conventions and all that. And uh, well, she was a very active member of the Inner Wheel Club of Ota. Very, very active. Uh, she was uh, an officer of that. Uh, but for one reason or the other, she refused to translate from Inner Wheel to Rotary Club. And uh, I don't have any grudge against that, you know. Okay. She is now, as passionate about Rotary as, as uh, yeah. I am. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. 